rise, I rock, rise, I rock, activate it. All right. Hello, ha, YouTubers. Hi, I'm a rock, and in today's live stream or VOD, we're gonna do a lava rock performance test on this Axel SCX24. So, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? So let's roll the footage. Start all over. get some springs not the greatest shock springs Almost guys, almost, almost. I see a lot of descent. Maybe 
not the greatest spot to start off.
crabs. Check it out. Can you uh, see the crab? shells There you have it, folks. Initial um, test run on the Axial SCX24. My initial thoughts and opinions on this thing when I took it out on the lava rocks uh, this morning. Actually, the, 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 I know it's griping and complaining a lot about the cheap plastic, the very flexible act, uh, plastic. Uh, it does have its positive and negatives. I mean, there's too much flexibility, but it happened to tend to roll over a lot. But that wasn't the only problem because um, why it kept on rolling over. But it actually, the plastic handled up pretty, pretty well. Uh, I don't know if the camera's going to catch, but I don't see any scratches or any scuff marks right over the lava rock, which is surprising. Uh, not even on the bumper. Uh, somewhat. Well, not even. I think that's the way it is. But pretty durable so far. Um, I guess the two biggest. I think the number one upgrade you need to do with this is to replace uh, the shocks and the springs. The shocks and the springs are just too loose for me. Way too loose. Too bouncy. Yeah, it's just way too bouncy. I think that's uh, that helped the cause. Or help that tend to roll over a lot more or quicker, faster, roll over, flip over. Then uh, the design of the front bumper. Uh, as you see, when you're trying to, well, I, I'm probably the wrong person to review this uh, Axio SCX24 because not too many places in the road has fresh lava rocks. So, uh, but trying to descend or even ascend or go up a steep hill uh, the bumper gets in the way it will be great you need some uh, like a stinger bumper where the angles help you actually slide up uh, on the hills but i think axios uh i think their biggest philosophy when it comes to rc is that eventually you're gonna upgrade and modify um the R rc you know, might as well sell, sell an RC cheap because eventually you're going to upgrade the parts in their rigs. Is, you know, can be a positive or negative philosophy. I stick to my, my rating of 8 on this SCX24. I mean, I think the target price point should have been at $99.99. I think $119.99 is, I think, a little too bit too much for this RC, mini RC. But, you know, it is what it is. 
I don't think it's worth $119.99. I think the, the price point it should have been the same as the Element Enduro um, Forerunner at $99.99. Because I think after shipping and taxes, it'll probably come out to over $150. Um, thank God for Amazon. Um, free shipping to your Prime membership. <laughs> oh, in case I forget, the link. Uh, the Amazon the Amazon link is in the description box below. If you just if you want to go check this uh, mini RC crawler out, uh, like I said, free Prime shipping on Amazon. Uh, I think it's at it's priced at eighteen dollars, one hundred eighteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, uh, that's my only two gripes about, or three gripes I guess, is the front bumper, uh, the shocks and the springs, and then the cheap plastic. Other than that, it held up pretty well. To me, this looks more like a toy grade RC than a hobby grade. I think this is more geared to uh, a younger age group. And I guess perfect for stay at home, scaling or crawling. I think that's what it was designed for. Um, indoor uh, scaling or crawling or out, outside in your backyard. It wasn't designed to go over lava rocks, that's for sure. <laughs> but you know, like I said, overall, huh? You know, I don't regret buying this. I'm pretty happy that I bought it. I think I spent a little bit too much, so but it is what it is. At least it was able I was able to get content um to use on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Which is always good. Yeah, the LED lights right up. Uh, I'm not too sure if this this still can turn on. Got dunk in the salt water a few times, and salt water and electronic they don't mix, but it still works. Except for one light, <laughs> uh, it, uh, yeah, the salt water got into uh, that LED lights, still runs, but holds up pretty well in salt water. Don't recommend running in salt water, but you know, uh, maybe regular. River water or outdoor water to do fine. I don't know what happened to these LED lights. Maybe um, I can spray some uh, either some corrosion X or WD-40 on the wires and probably revive itself. If not, oh well. Yeah. Other than that, still runs. I think probably can good a good 10 minute run. Uh, 10 minutes of runtime with this little guy. Uh, maybe 15 minutes. You're kind of stretching it after 10 minutes. I noticed after 10 minutes, um, the lipo battery was getting weak. The performance was um, noticeable. I mean, the drop in performance was noticeable after 10 minutes. I was struggling afterwards. I had fun with this today out on the trails. <clears throat> I may take this out on the trails again somewhere. Yeah, that's it. It's about. That's it for this review on this SEX24. Hope you folks enjoyed the lava rock scale crawling action. And then I had a few more boxes coming today. Here, here's my all my boxes that came in today. Here's a uh, long box came from Amazon. I think that's the only thing that came from Amazon. All right. Thing that came from Amazon. Still had that big box that I had caught yesterday from Amazon. Then this came from AliExpress from China. Bought something from Pyrodrone, future videos, something that I expect to arrive hopefully sometime by the end of next week. Then bought something off Teespring, <laughs> a fellow YouTuber merch. You guys want to take a guess uh, which YouTuber? It's an RC YouTuber. Take a guess which um, uh, whose merch I bought from. And also, um, 
Also, buy another merch from another fellow YouTuber. Obviously, this is a t shirt. So, if you want to, folks, want to take a guess on the two fellow RC YouTubers that I bought merch from, go right ahead uh, in the chat or in the comments below. And then I'm not going to do the unboxing on those merchandise because I'm actually expecting another uh, package from Teespring. Uh, I'm not too sure when I'm getting. Uh, I think I expect to receive that hopefully the beginning of next week. So when I get those two uh, fellow, uh, when I get that Teespring uh, merch, uh, that merch from Teespring, uh, I probably do a separate unboxing for those merch. Yeah, any of you fellow YouTube RCers out there, or fellow YouTubers, uh, if you have a merch store, um, hit me up. Let me know. I uh, definitely support uh, your merch store. We'll purchase a couple shirts, so, um, maybe a coffee mug, water water bottle, even female clothing. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, uh, smartphone cases. Towels, you name it, whatever you have on your uh, merchandise store. I rock definitely is a big supporter of fellow YouTubers, big fan of fellow YouTubers. So you know, let me know. But I think that's it for this live stream. Uh, again, thank you for uh, supporting my channel and watching my live streams and my VODs. My next video or live stream. Take care and aloha. Shaka. And I'm out.